Hi everyone, my name is Bahar El Ashkari. I am a PhD student in Computer Engineering and Intelligent Systems at University of Alberta, working under supervision of Dr. Peter Musalek at Intel Lab. I am glad to be participating in ASI Annual Symposium, presenting my research highlights on blockchain technology transforming the energy industry. As many of you may already know, the purpose behind blockchain technology is to create a decentralized model for the exchange and storage of data that is controlled by a decentralized operating system. Given the fact that decentralized systems cannot be controlled by a minority or a central authority and they are transparent for all participants, this actually opens up new perspectives for autonomous systems that is not predicated on centralized governance or architecture. This is also another reason why the concept of decentralized autonomous systems is inextricably tied to blockchain technology. Blockchain has already been through three waves. The idea of the first generation of blockchain developed by Bitcoin's anonymous founder Satoshi Nakamoto was a distributed ledger of information simultaneously validated by a large number of nodes that spread out all over the network. It was a good start at the time, but soon problems started to emerge in terms of scalability, interoperability, sustainability, and of course, speed. So that until now, Bitcoin is one of the slowest cryptocurrencies out there, taking about almost 10 minutes to confirm a transaction. Without any doubt, the second generation of blockchain offered a world of expanding functionalities ranging from hosting blockchain smart contracts to decentralized applications, from tokenizing assets to supporting decentralized autonomous organizations. And actually, this is when Ethereum quickly became the go-to blockchain for the interface use cases. Moving on to the third generation of blockchain, which is still the new on the block, trying to fix the failures of the versions that have come before. Focusing on scaling up, the third generation blockchain network is trying to introduce greater interoperability and boost network speed. It also tries to promote cross-chain transactions using techniques such as sharding. Another upcoming progression in the evolution of blockchain is the blockchain version 4. It actually aims to deliver blockchain technology as a business usable platform that enables seamless integration of different platforms to work in coherence and fulfill the business and industry demands. But it doesn't stop there. As mentioned earlier, autonomous systems depict a future in which technology is seamlessly integrated into our daily lives. One potential use case in the energy sector is the optimization of energy trading systems, which is the main focus of this presentation. In order to provide a more clear vision and promote the progression of the integration of blockchain and smart grid, we now present a number of practical initiatives and industrial implementations on different smart grid scenarios. As a cryptocurrency initiative, SolarCoin creates and offers incentives for solar energy. Actually, SolarCoin can be defined as digital tokens that rely on blockchain. These digital tokens are maintaining at the rate of one solar coin per one megawatt hour of produced solar energy. The purpose behind this is to enhance the development of the solar energy across the globe, and it will also result in the transition to a solar-based economy from a fossil fuel-based economy, which is the ultimate goal. Another blockchain-based cryptocurrency is KWH that also resembles Kuwa Tower and envisions to lead the expansion of clean energy by reducing the cost of blockchain energy transactions. This is a decentralized application that allows producers and consumers to connect and set up their energy generation resources. Energy Coin is another instance that integrates green energy resources into the local grid by making it more beneficial for producers and utilities, and of course, economical for both consumers and government. Another unique blockchain assisted initiative is Terra Green Coin, which manages biomass waste from agriculture, home, and forest resources and converts them into useful energy products. These products will have a significant economic value once they are processed into energy. Cycling also is another development as a cryptocurrency, which uh, has envisioned to confront CO2 emission and promotes clean energy. For cycling coin, the Ethereum platform is employed to utilize this smart contract. With that being said, aforementioned platforms are only a few out of several implementations of different smart grid scenarios being deployed and published. Applications of blockchain technology use each of the blockchain elements to different extent, depending on the business requirements. And the potential of blockchain technology for commodity is actually twofold. In the short term, blockchain can help to streamline processes, while in the long run, it will impact the whole market structure. 
In particular, blockchain technology could simplify transactions on wholesale power markets that are largely impacted through the renewable power generation. And that brings us to the end of the presentation, and I would like to thank you all for your time and attention.